Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? And today for you guys, I have the July Boxy Charm to go through with you all. I'm very excited about this box because I personally am quite pleased with it. Um, I will go some of the things because it's a little bit different than some of the boxes that we've seen in the past, but I think you guys overall will really enjoy it. I love doing these kinds of unboxing videos and some of the stuff I have tried and some of it I haven't, so it's going to be kind of a mix of um, review slash, you know, traditional unboxing. So this month's theme is Modern Mermaid, which I think is super cute. I absolutely love like this entire deal. I love like the neon light with the brick background. I think it's so cute. Um, something different about this month's box is that we are getting four products instead of five. And I mean, honestly, I'm not exactly too sure how I feel about that. Um, I feel like the products in this month's box are really, really great. And I think one of them in particular really stands out. And I can see why they only gave us four. But I know some people have been having some complaints about this because typically, you know, the whole thing Boxy Charm is getting five full size products. So I do wish that maybe they just would have even included like a deluxe sample size or something in here just to kind of help fill that gap a little bit because it definitely does feel like something's missing when we only get five or I mean excuse me when we only get four products instead of five but um, hopefully this will still seem worth it for you guys all of my info for BoxyCharm will be down below it is a monthly subscription it costs $21 that includes the shipping and typically like I said you get five full-size items um, but the nice thing with BoxyCharm is that no matter how many you get everything is full size and I think that that's great because I am personally not someone who really enjoys samples. So with that, let's just get on into it. So the first product that I'm going to touch on is probably like what I think is the most exciting product out of this box. And I think that this is probably the main reason why we only got four products this month. And this is the Ofra Professional Magnetic Palette. It is a full-size palette, retails for $59, and that's including the six eyeshadows that you get inside. So I must say that I actually quite like this palette. I mean, it's not like the highest of quality of magnetic palettes because it is more of like a cardboard kind of packaging. It's a very very sturdy cardboard but I know a lot of them are kind of made out of a thicker plastic material so keep in mind that this is a little bit different what I do like about that though is that it is slim it's compact it's extremely lightweight the magnetic closure still works very very well and I like that even though it does have the Ofra Pro label on it it overall still is clear, so you can, you know, pretty easily see your shadows inside. Uh, like I said, we get six eyeshadows. We get it in the shades uh, Bohemian, Buttercup, Smoke, Iron, Truffle, and Millennium Gold. I'm not too sure which of the colors is which because they don't actually have them labeled on the back. And the way that this palette comes, I kind of rearranged it a little bit, so I'm not too sure if I shouldn't have done that. But you do get some really beautiful shades. Basically, you're getting a beautiful metallic bronze, a nice light creamy yellow with a matte finish, a um, medium toned, darker kind of olive green shade with a matte finish, a really, really dark kind of blue green. It's really interesting color. I absolutely love the shade. Um, not too sure exactly how to describe it, but it kind of has more of a satiny finish. You get a nice kind of burnt orange brown color, um, again with a matte finish. And then the very last shade here is kind of a shimmery metallic champagne with like a light green kind of undertone. So this entire palette, I or not every single shade, but everything that's on my eyes today is from this palette. Basically, I used this orange shade all over in the crease as a transitional shade. I then went in with this kind of darker blue-green color, used that in the outer corner, and then on the lid, I used this nice metallic-y champagne green kind of color. And overall, it's a really nice kind of simple look. And then just to kind of add a little bit more to it, I took the metallic bronze and I just uh, swiped that underneath my lash line just to add in some more color. But I really overall do enjoy the shade selection in here. I think that it's very easy to use. I think it's very versatile. I think it's easy to look at this and get a good look out of it. And overall, I must say that I'm very impressed with this product. Uh, I promise these next products won't be as lengthy to describe. Uh, the next one here is from Mally, and this is one of her Evercolor uh, eyeliners. And this is in the shade Ice Blue, which as you would imagine, is just a nice kind of ice blue color. There's a swatch of that on the back of my hand. You can see it kind of definitely reflects very metallic, but when it recedes from the light, you can see that nice kind of blue undertone. I think that this will work nicely in the waterline. Um, you know, I'm not nuts about the color just because I don't know how much use I'll actually get out of this, but you know, in the waterline, it might be something that I use more than I think because I am a huge fan of colored eyeliner. Just typically when it comes to um, formats like this that I'm mostly gonna put in my waterlines or tight lines, I tend to prefer kind of deep 
deeper shades. But I actually really do enjoy these eyeliners. The one that she has in just the black shade, this is actually the one that I use all the time on my waterline. So I am a big fan of the formula. So, and I think it's kind of cool too to get something kind of different in your box as a, you know, kind of a different color. And I think it is very summer appropriate. The next product I am really, really loving, and this is from the brand Noya, which I haven't heard of before. And this is their lip gloss. And this is in the shade Malbec. It says it's a natural gloss made without sulfates, parabens. Its uh, packaging is composed of earth-friendly bamboo. Uh, the packaging is really nice. You can kind of see the color through here, and then you got a cute little like cherry blossom design on the handle. You open it up, and this is just a really nice, uh, kind of like a pinky fuchsia color. This is actually what I am wearing on my lips right now. I don't have anything else underneath it. It's just this gloss alone, and I'm gonna say that I actually really enjoy it. It is a completely non-sticky formula. But unlike most non-sticky formulas, it still has a certain thickness to it where it is kind of nice and moisturizing on the lips. It doesn't feel super oily. It doesn't feel like it's going to slide right off. It is totally my ideal lip gloss formulation because I'm not a huge fan of the super stickiness myself either. I think that that gets really annoying, especially if you have longer hair or, you know, you're going outside a lot. Something sticky just is uncomfortable. But I still don't like something that's oily and slippery that feels like it's just going to slide right out of my lips. So I really, really enjoy that about this formula. And I would actually say that I think that this truly is a fantastic lip gloss formula. The shade overall, I think coverage wise, it's sort of like a kind of mid in the coverage. It's not like the highest coverage of lip gloss, but it's also not sheer. It's kind of like right in the middle. And I think that this is just a really pretty shade. You can see here, it just kind of brightens up the complexion, gives it a little bit more, you know, oomph, but it's not like anything super bright or intimidating. It definitely doesn't go on this like intense on the lips. So I think it's really pretty and very flattering. And then very finally, we get the PYT or PYT. I'm not too sure exactly how you're supposed to pronounce that. Uh, hair oil treatment. This says that it uh, penetrates the hair follicle and leaves hair frizz free. It prevents split ends and creates instant shine without an oily residue and it is safe for color treated hair. Um, this retails for $30. By the way, the eyeliner retails for $18 and the lip gloss is $16. So again, this is a very high value product. This has a very like interesting fragrance to it. It's kind of almost like musky. Slightly. It's good but it kind of smells like a man, which I'm not like against. Like I use men's deodorant and stuff, so I'm obviously like not opposed to smelling like a man, but keep that in mind if that's something that you're maybe not, you know, super fond of. Um, and it just says to apply a dime size of it and use it through the hair. The main ingredient in this, as far as oils go, it's got an Argania kernel oil. I'm not too sure if that's just argan oil. Um, so it is a little bit kind of like a thicker, it's not like a dry oil per se. You can definitely kind of feel it a little bit, but I wouldn't say it either. It doesn't really leave a residue either. It's a good um, oil to put in your hair maybe after you've showered, kind of on damp hair. You can use just a tiny little bit just to kind of run through if you feel like your hair is looking super frizzy or kind of lackluster. I think it works really well for that as well. Overall, it is just a really good hair oil and I really do enjoy receiving hair products, especially when it comes to things like conditioners, oils, stuff like that because I feel like that's something that's pretty universal that almost anyone can use. So I am a big fan of this and I think that it's nice and uh, it's a good little size here. So I'm very happy with that as well. And that is the end of this month's box. Overall, personally, I am really a big fan of it. Like I said, I've seen some mixed reviews, which is kind of sad. But for myself, I think it's great. I absolutely adore the eyeshadow palette. I really, really am digging the lip gloss. I think the hair oil is great. And I know the eyeliner is just something cool that I really don't have anything that's like, you know, that sort of a color in my collection. So I'm very, very happy to have that. I'm a huge fan of the formula. And overall, I actually think that this was like a big hit of a box for me. Even though we are receiving less product, I think that they really focused on quality over quantity this time, which that really works for me because when it comes to these subscription boxes, I think that that's super important that you're getting good quality products and not always getting the most products. And four full size products for $21 is still a great deal, especially when you consider, you know, the types of products that you're getting in this month's box. But that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.